Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Strato Launch could be shutting down. Burt Rutan will be celebrated at this year's Air Venture, and the field is set for the 43rd Air Race Classic. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophia Herlock. Reports continue to predict the end of the Strata Launch Systems program. The company claims to be continuing operations, but insiders and media agencies say the decision to shut down or sell the operation is a done deal. This could mean the massive Strata Launch mothership created to carry rockets into optimal positions and altitude for launches may have had its first and last flight back on April 13th from the Mojave Air and Spaceport. During its initial flight, the plane achieved a maximum speed of 189 miles an hour, flew for two and a half hours, and reached an altitude of 17,000 feet. The dual fuselage design has a wingspan greater than the length of an American football field, and the reinforced center wing can support multiple launch vehicles weighing up to 500,000 pounds. The Strata Launch Systems program was shepherded by the late Paul Allen. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Embry-Riddle's Prescott and Daytona Beach flight teams took third and seventh place in the Safety and Flight Evaluation Conference competition. Both teams excelled in many of the nearly two dozen individual flight and ground events. SafeCon is the most important annual contest for college aviators, and this year's competition included more than 350 contestants from 30 elite collegiate flight teams from across the country. A gold brooch given to Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong and worn by his wife Janet Sheeran is being put up for sale by MS Rao Antiques. The brooch is made to look like the lunar surface with a diamond at the spot where the Eagle Lunar Lander touched down, surrounded by five rubies to show where the astronauts walked. The piece cost $168,500 and comes with a letter of provenance from the Armstrong family collection. A double-digit 14.5% year-over-year increase in airplane shipments in the first quarter and 10.5% rise in their combined value makes it appear the general aviation market is on fire. However, a more detailed view reveals pockets of strengths and weaknesses. The improvement in piston activity was largely driven by trainer sales, which does not mean individual buyers are back in the market yet. It's not clear if the turboprop increase is noise at this point, although the introduction of new products will inevitably grow the niche. The International Air Transport Association has released data for global air freight markets showing demands measured in freight ton kilometers fell 4.7% in April, compared to the same period the year before. This continued the negative trend in the year-on-year -year demand that began in January. Freight capacity measured in available freight ton kilometers grew by 2.6% year-on-year in April. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. 
It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Renowned aerospace engineer and aircraft designer Bert Rutan will be celebrated at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh in July with a number of presentations and Rutan designed airplanes on display. The founder of two aerospace companies, Rutan Aircraft Factory and Scaled Composites, Rutan has developed 48 research aircraft throughout his lengthy career. Among the notable aircraft Bert has designed or helped develop are Iconic home-built designs, Very Vigan, Very Easy, Quickie, Defiant, Long EZ, Solitaire, Catbird, and Boomerang. He is a member of both the International Air and Space Hall of Fame and National Aviation Hall of Fame, and has been the co-recipient of the Collier Trophy on two separate occasions. Once for Voyager, which was the first plane to fly around the world non-stop without refueling back in 1986 and again in 2004 for Spaceship One, the first and still only privately developed and funded manned aircraft to reach space. Burt will take part in Theater in the Woods evening programming on Thursday, July 25th, as well as a home builds and review session in three daytime forums during the week. The field is set for the 43rd Air Race Classic, the annual all-women's cross-country race. 51 teams made up of 113 women pilots from around the world will take off on June 18th from Jackson, Tennessee for a 2,538-mile international competition that ends on June 21st in Welland, Ontario. The oldest race of its kind in the nation, the Air Race Classic traces its roots to the 1929 Women's Air Derby, in which Amelia Earhart and 19 other female pilots raced from Santa Monica, California to Cleveland, Ohio. This year's ARC goes through nine states and one Canadian province and celebrates the 90th anniversary of that historic competition, which marked the beginning of women's air racing in the United States. That's our show for today, folks. As always, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And for real-time coverage and updates on the latest aviation and aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful day.